All right, everybody ready? How you doing? We back. I'm Big Tony. And I'm kicking it with Lil Tony right here. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good, darling. Are you ready? I been. I was born ready. Okay, great. Here we have Moet and Chandon Imperial Brut. Imperial is named after Napoleon because he had such an amazing relationship with Jean Remy Moet. Maison has celebrated over 275 years of making champagne. All so right. a little bit of history. OK, thank you. There you go. OK, so you're going to just hold it by the neck like that? You want to hold it by the neck. You want to swirl it a little bit? Swirl it a little bit? Swirl it a little bit? Smell it? Smell it? Smell it? Smell it. Smell it. So here we have some beautiful citrus fruit, white fruits on the nose. Mm -hmm. Because of the cellar aging, it gives it a really nice brioche notes as well. And then you might notice that we're having in white wine glasses and not a coupe or a flute. Oh, OK. I sometimes I just grab anything, <laughs> any cup, but it, it matters, huh? It really it does matter. Well, let's, let's try a little bit of this. There you go. It's a Tony, Tony, Cheers. Tony. What do you think? Refreshing. Yes. It's the most loved champagne in the world. Did you know every second a bottle is popped somewhere in the world? Of Moet? Yep. Yeah, of no Moet. Idea. We have 17 miles of aging cellars. About 17 miles. Yes. Wow. It's about four times the Las Vegas Strip. Where y'all get all that stuff from? You know, history. French people, they find a way. Champagne should be enjoyed breakfast, lunch, and dinner, in my opinion. 365 days. Yeah, yeah. Yes. How often do you drink champagne? Every day. Cool. They pay me to do that. You pay to drink champagne every day. <laughs> what a life. So, Moet and Chandon, Nectar Imperial Rosé. I love the rosé. We have a little bit of a surprise for you. Okay. And we're going to bring that out. And I hope you love it. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, got if That's you hard. really want to know how much that is, that is a $50,000 bottle of Moet and Chandon. Oh, yeah. Imperial Brut, just for you. Oh, yeah. We have 50,000 Swarovski crystals on there, Man. all done by hand. Little Tony, I appreciate you. <laughs> That's nice. Got a drench guard. This thing, $50,000 for that? Yes, sir. I ain't going to sell it. I'm, I will never even open that. You can drink it and just keep the bottle. You think I should drink it again? Champagne should not be kept. I'm, it I'm, should be enjoyed. I'm listening to you. Yeah. So how much would this one be right here? We're probably looking at about ten dollars to $15,000. Well, I appreciate that, Tony. How many, how much is in there? Uh, that's the equivalent of 20 bottles. What do you think of the rosé? Perfect for lamb chop. Oh, you are my people, yes. <laughs>